G'day guys, Field Alchemist here. Now I'm just checking in. Today I'm on a fishing trip with my good mate Dal. I'm going to be riding shotgun. So I'll just give you a rundown. This is um, my mate's beast of a boat here. And we'll check in once we're in the water. Okay, just launched the boat and we are about to get onto the water. Okay, so we're on the water now. Um, we're at a spot called the Lambie. So I'm just uh, here by my side is the fishing maestro. So what's the plan for today, fella? Uh, we're gonna head out for uh, probably about two k's out. We can uh, try some snapper, you know about 60 meter deep of water, you know? See so if we try anything today, you know? Get any good stuff. Sounds like yeah. a plan. Yep. So um, we'll check in the next time when we're onto a fish. Yep. Dow's on to a fish. Red. Oh, first snapper. Nice. It's a beautiful pinky size. Okay, so it's been a very slow morning, but um, the fishing maestro is on to another fish. Let's see what it is. Oh, flatty. Oh, good size one too. There's one flatty to the bag. A few good snapper, pig fish, and a tail fish. Oh, my wife's gonna love this. Back at home now from our fishing trip. And um, what started out to be a very slow day um, turned out to be quite reasonable. So this is my share of today's catch. Um, just give you a quick look. There's three tilefish, one nice snapper, and a lovely flathead. So I thought tonight, um, what I'll be having for dinner is a tamarind hot pot. And this is just a spin-off from um, an earlier episode that I did uh, for my recent trip to Port Stephens, uh, episode three. Um, I did the tamarind catch and cook, however, it was not a very um, in-depth demonstration. And one of my viewers, uh, by the username of wokwok43, uh, has mentioned that he'd like to see how the broth was made. So, um, hence, here we are. So just before we start cooking, um, I'll give you a rundown on all the ingredients. So tonight for the tamarind hot pot, I'm going to be using the snapper. And these are all your fresh veg. You've got some okra, bean sprout, some mushrooms, tomatoes, celery, and this is called morning glory, or another name for it is kenkong. And this is the tamarind base to be used uh, as the broth. Also, I'll be eating it with um, some rice vermicelli as opposed to rice tonight. So um, we'll start cooking and then we'll check in when it's time to eat.
Before we conclude the video, um, I'd just like to um, put out a mention that um, if there's any particular recipe or food that you guys would like to see me attempt um, or make, um, please leave a comment in any of my videos and um, I will see them. Because so, um, um, as mentioned earlier in an earlier video, this was the follow-up video with a more detailed demonstration on how I make the broth. And it also was prompted by a viewer too. So um, yeah, so if you like to see anything in particular, let me know and then I'm interested to see what you guys think. So uh, without further ado, back to my favorite part of every video, the tasting. So I'm gonna get straight into it. So you may have um, noticed that I've put this piece of fish in earlier, just to allow it to cook, because um, this fish is so fresh. I'm not gonna have it overcooked and this is a good way of having it like cooked to perfection. And also, um, with the fish, I've filleted it and cut into boneless chunks. That is optional, because normally people will just cut these fish into the big steaks with a bone in it. And uh, so I'm just going to skip straight into it. Let's get to the broth. So I've got the rice and the chili there. Let's pour some of that broth in. And this dish is a lovely wintry dish as well, because it's always going to be piping hot when you, when you eat it. Alright, let's have a taste. A bit of fish. Mmm, that looks sensational. Mm. Oh, the fish is so subtle, not overcooked and not overpowered. You still taste all the natural taste of the fish. And um, let's see what the broth tastes like. Mm. That is sensational, guys. Um, this dish in Vietnamese is called ganjul, meaning a sour soup. But um, like in most Southeast Asian food uh, cuisine, it's a perfect harmony of sweet, sour, and salty. So um, once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, until the next one, bye for now. <laughs>